Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can store an image or picture in AIM repository. I'm not talking about how you can upload image in uh, author, in assets or DAM. I'm talking about how an end user upload image from its machine, local machine, and how you actually you will store that image or asset in repository other than DAM or asset, right? You can uh, save that image in them assets as well but I'm talking about how actually you will be storing that image as a binary in your repository this is the form component uh, which we are talking about throughout this series so this form has some data and we have the image field which actually browse image from a local machine this is the form file field so as soon as you browse it and you pick any image Right. Once you submit this data to the submit handler, means servlet in our case, so this whole data along with this, the image is also submitted as part of a request. As I have already explained, so you must understand how exactly I am storing this image. So in for each author, each submitted uh, request or the data, I am creating one node. Inside node, I am creating a folder of photo or something because I, I create it as a folder and under that I'm storing that as a file and in this file I'm storing that image as a data means binary data later on we will be using it so important thing is you must understand how exactly you storing it here or, or anywhere in AEM the concept is you must know okay so as soon as you submit this data this image will be picked and saved to a node. Okay. So what will happen as soon as you submit this, this servlet, this post method will be triggered and it's calling this method. So I have already explained about it. What you must understand is how it is happening. So this is my method add author and I'm just adding all the properties and I'm calling one more method called add thumbnail. This is my method. So in this method, I will explain how exactly you are storing that image as a binary in your repository. So what happened in this, I'm passing a node. Basically, this is the parent node under which I want to store it. Leave about this. Okay. So if you see, this is the node actually. I created this node and I give the no this node because I want to store that image under this node. So what happening here, I got resources over and I got session. This is pretty old story. I have already explained multiple times. Now, I got a request parameter from re request. Request dot get resource and the name of is file basically. This file contain that image. From that request parameter, I got the input stream. Once I have input stream, now you must understand in last tutorial also when I was creating JSON, I explained this. Now you need, you should get value factory. And how will you get value factory? From session. Session dot get value factory. Once you have value factory object, from this value factory, you can create a binary data by passing this input stream. So these three lines are really important, four lines. You must understand this. You can store this image anywhere, but these four lines are important. Now, because I got the binary data, now I'm creating just creating a folder, which I showed you in this line. I'm adding a folder and under this folder, once I have this, under this, I'm creating an image, right? This is the name I'm giving, okay? I'm giving this file as a name because I need to display this. So I just want, like, I don't need to give the name again and again. So I'm just like hard coding this. I'm not actually giving the exact name what was the name of this image while uploading and the type is empty file and once I have so till here I created folder I created image right as an empty file now I created uh, JCR content and JCR content I added the MIME type what is the MIME type whatever the type of image so you can get that also means this request parameter dot content type okay once you have this, you add the JCR data, a property JCR data and pass the binary, whatever the binary you got it from request parameter and you are done. So that way you created this image in repository. So you can create it anywhere. You can save it anywhere. So if you see here, let's start, let's check what 
actually I added right away this one David Taylor if you see the photo this folder is created now and this is the image and if you see the JCR content there is a property called JCR con data and this contain this binary data if you open it it will ask you to download or something so I'm not gonna do that right now so even if you try to open it it will show you this data because this is the binary data right you will see now you can display this image or use this image either by the path or by getting again the binary data so we'll see in in actually in that comp where I was displaying profile data I'm using the path so let's let me show you so we added this David Taylor so if I reload there must be a David Taylor okay this one David Taylor has been added so if I open yeah image I uploaded is available or over profile component so that way you can upload and save image from the end user machine if you want that image to be stored in DAM or assets and if you want that uh, renditions to be generated you can store in DAM and later on you can trigger the workflow which actually create the renditions I hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you